So the Air Force has awarded Boeing a $35 billion contract to build a new generation of air refueling tankers. The new jets were, will replace the aging fleet of KC-135s, many of which fly out of Fairchild Air Force Base. KXY 4's Annie Bishop joins us tonight. Annie, this is good news for thousands of workers in Washington State. Well, and because the contract will create nearly 50,000 jobs in Everett and Wichita, Kansas, where the new air tankers will be built. Boeing's bid won out over co a competing bid by the European Aeronautic Defense and Space Company, a parent company of Airbus. An Air Force official says Boeing was the clear winner of the competition. The $35 billion contract calls for producing 179 new tankers. The amount could end up being a first installment on a $100 billion deal if the Air Force decides to purchase more aircraft. While speaking about Veterans Affairs yesterday, Senator Patty Murray made it very clear Boeing was the only choice. We cannot award a contract to a company, Airbus, that has been shown by the World Trade Organization that they have illegal subsidies. Airbus has said they've been really able to lower their price on this plane. And last year, Boeing spent millions of dollars upgrading and improving its 767 plant in Everett to make it a much more efficient facility. There had been concern that if Boeing didn't win the contract, it would be forced to scale back or even close operations in Everett. Now it appears that's no longer a concern. Now in Spokane, it's estimated a dozen local aeronautics companies will be impacted as well. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.